I wanted to show you guys this crazy video of the disgraced fired CNN commentator Chris Cuomo. Chris is the one that got fired, right, Zach? Pretty sure. Chris Cuomo, and then his brother was the governor of New York, and uh, he got fired, or some other stuff happened. Anyway, apparently he has this new show on on a, I don't know what this is, News Nation, but I came across my thing. I wanted to show it to you guys because this is a wild conversation they were having with two mothers, and this is how gaslighty some of these people are, okay? So I wanted to react to it, and then we have a bunch of other topics that we're going to look at. Okay, so check this out. My point to you is this. Why do you guys get to decide which ideas are okay for a school library? Well, first, I'd like to say that no one is looking to ban books. The Moms for Liberty certainly isn't. You should write the book. You should print the book. You should publish the book. You should sell the book. The book should go into to the public mm -hmm. library in your community if taxpayers want to pay for it. Um, and, and so we're not advocating for banning anything. What we're talking about is curating content in a library. You wouldn't have the same books in a medical college that you would in a seminary. And just because a book is printed doesn't mean that it belongs in a children's library. Right. This now, is when all, you say children, this is all pretty reasonable. Just because a book is printed doesn't mean it belongs in a children's curated library. Meaning that when you walk in, these books are oftentimes front and front center. So Chris Cuomo is the one creating the straw man that they think that they should be the moral ar arbitrators in terms of what is and isn't allowed. That's not what they're saying in terms of stuff getting published. They're saying what stuff should be in these schools. Okay. Watch this. What do you mean? I mean, public school children, K through 12. Children do not. This man said, what do you mean by children? I think we know exactly what he means by children, right? Children. <laughs> have unfettered access to the internet at school or movies mm -hmm. or music. Mm -hmm. But somehow these books with these horribly explicit graphic content are finding their way onto bookshelves in public schools all over America. Let me ask you something. Uh, Tina, would the book bother you as much if it were a male and a female doing an, doing uh, animations that are instructional for kids to understand uh, that type of section? Wrong question. So question number one is, why do you get to be the moral police? That's not what they're even saying. They're saying, hey, let's just have some decency around our children. Question number two is, what do they do? They go straight for the, whoa, you have a phobia. You have a LGTV phobia. If it wasn't uh, male on meal, would you be okay with those books? Striking out again here, Mr. Cuomo. Now watch these moms completely uh, dismantle this. So the problem with the books that our chapters across the country have concerns with, Chris, is that they are obscene. They are obscene and they are porn. This mm -hmm. has nothing to do with if it's male and male, female and female, or male and female. They are obscene and they are porn. And you know, gender queer is just one of the many books. Here's My Body is Growing, a guide for children four to eight. I could read to you out of this book. It's hey, you want to see something kind of crazy? Over 75% of the people that watch this channel are not subscribed. Please consider subscribing and turning your bell notification on so that you don't miss anything we have going here. My Body is Growing for children four to eight. My body is growing for children four to eight, okay? This is the kind of stuff that is being pushed inside of some of these libraries, public school libraries, my edge. Now listen to the excerpt that she reads. Check this out. It is disgusting. It is, um, it is with a man and a woman, uh, 20 years old. It is, it's not appropriate. This is for ages four to eight. And now, watch, now watch Cuomo's face here. And, uh, Kindergarten through third grade. And it says that Sabrina's becomes moist and warm and Marco's penis gets very stiff. Marco then pushes his penis into Sabrina's vagina, always in it. Yeah, why are you making that face, you goober? Why are you making that face? You know there's something wrong with this. But the degree of cognitive dissonance or just flat out being disingenuous is how a lot of these goobers act when presented with the actual evidence in these situations out that feels great for both of them it tells you before this that they are unmarried and living together and 20 years old this is appropriate for four to eight year olds this is found in grade schools all across the country so in your opening statement chris you talked about governor DeSantis, and you listed books that governor DeSantis has said he has concerns with and that what you stated was false yeah. we um we have we've watched governor DeSantis. we've watched his press conferences on this um nobody in our organization or does governor DeSantis have any problem with to kill a mock 
Mockingbird or the other books that you mm -hmm. mentioned. The books that are concerning to us and that are uh, that are actually violating the law here in the state of Florida are pornographic and obscene by anybody's standards. Now, I think that's a pretty reasonable argument. We're talking about specific things. She pointed to a specific book with very explicit language towards young people of other young people doing acts and they're extremely graphic now listen to cuomo's again i don't know if this dude's just dumb or disingenuous listen to his response to this and the complete moving of the goalposts first of all i didn't say your group Second of all, I didn't even say Governor DeSantis. I'm saying some of the books and the groups that have come under the umbrella of what he's been talking about do want to ban those books. Uh, that's not made up. You should stick to your lane in terms of what your group does. That's why I have you here, because I don't think you're the same as a lot of these other organizations. If I thought you wanted to ban those, I don't think that. you have a very good argument. What I'm saying is there's a difference between K through three and up to 12. You notice how he never actually engages with that specific book, he changes the conversation. So, well, I didn't say your group and I didn't say DeSantis, but I am saying that K through three or whatever he's about to say, he moves the goalpost instead of engaging and saying, yeah, you know what? I concede. That is a great point. That is a disgusting thing to put between from kindergarten to third grade. Instead of doing that, he completely moves the goalpost and changes the conversation. And then there's a secondary concern, which is where does it stop? Which ideas do you guys stop at and get comfortable with? Great question. Where does it stop? And they're going to give you a very, 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 very specific point of where to stop. That this bothers you because it's uh, openly pornographic and kids can get it. Okay. But where do you draw the line? And who gets to draw it? Sure. So I think what's happening, what's happening right now, as far as this conversation about book banning, you saw President Biden speaking about it in his re-election campaign video. It's become extremely politicized. And I think there are a lot of people that very much want to try to marginalize moms and dads and villainize us mm -hmm. for being concerned about ex extremely explicit content being given to children in schools. Um, it's important that we... And, and, and we heard and again i don't I, to be to be charitable to the president we heard him say that your kids aren't your kids they're they they're the, the people's kids the government's kids i don't know if he meant that as in like you don't get a voice as a parent or what exactly but this is insanity this is extremely reasonable we don't want this sort of stuff curated in public schools all right talk about your right the truth here uh, about the books that are concerning moms and dads are getting up at school board meetings and having their mics cut mm -hmm. we can't show these pictures on youtube on facebook on twitter they get censored and we couldn't show them if i have to censor parts of this video on youtube to be able to get it up on youtube which i do by the way shouldn't public school kids that are having access shouldn't this be the same standard for kids in elementary school this is youtube CBS Sunday Morning News. So you ask us, where does the line start or stop? As I said it on the CBS News broadcast, let's set the bar really, really low. Let's just say no material, no rape, no arrest, no pornography. In this book, this gentleman talks about being raped, anally raped by a family member who was an adult. Why was this in an elementary school, in a middle school or a high school for that matter, Chris? Hey, thank you. No answers. No answers from Mr. Chris Cuomo. Nothing but L's. 